everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, this video is one of the most requested video. Um, well, I first would want to thank all of you for, uh, you know, 1k 100 views on my books for final MBBS video. If you haven't checked it out, then then uh, the link is in the bio. It, it's there in the videos. You can just check it out. And then among that, I have, uh, you know, what my YouTube studio has uh, suggested me saying that many people are asking about how to prepare for your final MBBS surgery. Well, uh, uh, surgery is one good, one hell of a... Uh, nightmare okay as such but uh, do not worry you have a lot of important questions I know that you have a lot of them out of the guidebooks but yeah there might be important questions in all of that in your books but only a senior who has cleared the exam might give you all the confidence that you needed in order to you know clear all of that you know that might be you know a word to word talk is much better than you know seeing uh, all the important questions in the previous ones I don't think they'd give you confidence but then talking to someone who has written that might give surely give you at least a little bit of confidence I hope I hope so well let's get into the video here I have my surgery book uh, it's in a, it's in a bad shape because I read a lot of it I followed Esdas but then uh, you might follow anything uh, according to your choice uh, okay well how do we get through this I do not want to um, read question by question or say all of the important questions because I know that we have all of them because we have a final exams nearing so this would be something concise where you could actually bag a lot of marks this is something that sort okay so this is the last minute hack I guess for surgery okay well uh, I prepared the uh, almost like most part of from Bailey uh, in my previous props final year I didn't prefer reading Bailey because that is too vast and I know that I cannot cover all of it so uh, the important ones that is uh, the ones that you have for uh, practicals that is your thyroid breast hernia all of that thorough Bailey and apart from that the rest of it I just preferred SRB 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 it's just that I wanted to follow one single book that would just lead to my destination and then well I, I really scored the highest in my class with respect to surgery if you are uh, you know still doubtful about whether I'm laughing or not I do have my marks list another video made on that you could just go check it because uh, I hope that would build you trust in uh, what I say Okay, this is something that I did because I cleared my exams. I don't think there's something wrong in sharing what I did. So, sharing is caring. So, let's do that. Okay, surgery is one nightmare. So, let's get to part one and part two separated. Under part one, uh, like the most, most high yielding topic was uh, wounds and also, you know, just in the morning, uh, you know, before I write my exam, probably two, three hours before, I read thoroughly about ulcer and then guess what? I had ulcer as my essay question. So, do not underestimate general surgery, especially the starting chapters, which you think you might know well, but then you end up writing hell. Okay, you get my point. Okay, read thoroughly about wounds, ulcer. And then uh, infectious diseases are something similar to your microbiology. It is very easy and then just, just go through it like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, just four marks. But then wounds and ulcer is an essay. Swellings are just four marks and because you have swellings under short case, you might actually be a little well acclimatized with that. So, leave that electronic nutrition based. Okay, so uh, take home message is under general surgery. You need to be thorough with wounds, wound healing, ulcer, shock. Very important. Shock was the next essay we had. So all of it, all of it is very important, not just for surgery, even for medicine. See, when you're reading the subjects, do not segregate this as surgery, medicine, gynec, and this topic has to be read only from this. You know, do smart work, not do not, you know, don't work hard because when you have less time, just use smart work, you know. T topics like... Uh, shock, uh, you know, uh, like medicine and pediatrics, overlapping topics and uh, uh, hemorrhage, blood transfusions, all of it, they are like, you know, they overlap. So you can only read from one subject. You do not have to read from any subjects. Coming to surgery, it is mostly about the management part, okay? More than surgical options, management is the most important thing in surgery. Whereas coming to medicine, Treatment is more important, okay? Surgery, investigations and management. Under management, you have management and, you know, the investigations. Under medicine, it's just the drug treatment, okay? 
பண்ண சர்ஜரி சிடி ஃபைனிங்ஸ் எக்ஸ்ரே ஃபைனிங்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் ஆஃப் தர் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன்ஸ் ரிகார்டிங் டு அ கேஸ் ஆர் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் யுவர் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஸோ மேக் ஷோர் தட் யூ ரீட் ஆல் ஆஃப் தெம் இஃப் டு நாட் ரீட் தியரி லைக் த வே யூ ரைட் இன் அ மெடிசன் ஓகே தட் இஸ் நாட் த வே யூ ரெப்ரஸன்ட் அ சர்ஜரி ஆன்சர் இன் அ சர்ஜரி சாரி சர்ஜரி where a surgical question paper you're not supposed to answer it like that you need to write a few introduction points but the main weightage always lies in the managing the case managing the case is where you know the heart of uh, surgery is uh, coming to hemorrhage and blood transfusion so four more question so make sure that you read those transfusion reactions or all of it burns is a four more question burns is very important not just um, on medicine surgery pediatrics everywhere burns is important even in your practical life when you get into a, your house surgery you you will see many cases of burns and uh, not just thermal burns even electrical burns are very important then you have uh, hand and foot diseases and arterial diseases are four more questions i know arterial diseases is worst so make sure that you read them selectively do not go it on a stretch break it into parts and then read okay you just cannot go the uh, venous diseases is one very important thing where varicose veins and then uh, you know uh, dvts are very important you have for your practicals as well so you have to be thorough in and out in and out management all the surgical procedures of management are very important see when you have so many surgical procedures of management do not read every surgical procedure line to line word to word okay you just have to remember you we have like so many number of surgeries for each and every every you know condition so make sure you read the most popular ones and then at least one surgery or two surgeries in depth like see do not carry extra luggage you know you already have so much okay carry something that you can retain in your head even though it is little that is fine that is what i did okay and then uh, lymphatics and all of this shit is like you can just read reconstruction procedures grafting is important okay and uh, that is all you need to know about the basic general surgery part under facio maxillary diseases that is mostly ent mostly ent you can just uh, go through it and uh, here you have lip carcinoma and tongue carcinoma mind you carcinoma anywhere in any part of your surgery textbook is very important very potential essay question or a foma question so do not ignore carcinomas okay so since most of the carcinomas has tnm staging i'll tell you how to make it a little easier probably in the next one next few minutes i'll be discussing about that and then salivary glands neck all of it is just your basic end and you can go through it so the heart of part 1 lies in wound ulcer tra and into the burns and then uh, you have uh, hemorrhage and blood transfusions venous diseases this is the heart of uh, paper one so if you are thorough with this make sure that you score maximum of the maximum marks in paper one okay because paper two no comments i know how it is okay uh, coming to paper two we have the thyroid breast and hernia make sure that you read in and out in and out in and out of all these three because they are very important uh, for your uh, practicals as well as for theory i we have had we got a lot of questions in theory as well you know thyroid we got an essay you know i've just read them in the morning or the day, the evening before so i've read them read them read them so many times during my mbbs that i got fed up to read during the last minute and i didn't read for my final preparation but then the day before the exam yes i did and that was the best thing i know okay we have one uh, two major topics here one is the gi and one is the kidney okay uh, do not be in a misconception that i'll read only gi 50% will be from gi and then i'll clear it that is wrong do not read only kidney and do not think the same okay there are few of my friends who read only kidney and they thought they would pass there are many important questions from gi and kidney as well i do accept that but then reading only gi to me pass a you know it will not you know par nahi karwayega bacha nahi payega okay breast thyroid hernia you read bachayega okay in this uh, most important thing you have to do is uh, read carcinomas not neglect carcinomas okay so what i did for carcinomas was uh, whenever i uh, gone through this carcinomas i used to you know uh, take a I, i kept a separate book for surgery uh, i wrote the tnm classification something that would be easy for me to go through the last minute revision and luckily we got stomach carcinoma and the stomach carcinoma wasn't that important but then since my seniors told me that carcinomas are important i have you know made a simplified question of it, just the surgical see i used to make the tnm classifications one okay uh, on on a side 
where I used to write all of them, all the important ones. And then I used to mix and match and compare and see which TNMs are syncing with each other. You know, the organ systems, TNS, uh, TNM systems, which are in, you know, comparison and in line with each other. Then I used to just read it together. So that would be easy because sometimes there are uh, uh, TNMs which actually vary from one another. So make sure you do that and, uh, you know, just simplify it as much as you can because TNM uh, does carry a lot of marks. Uh, we even got breast carcinoma. So just before entering my exam hall, probably like 15-20 minutes before entering exam hall, I've seen CS stomach, TNM and then that was my final essay. So it does help. It helped me a lot and I'm sure that it will help you a lot for your, you know, last minute gist. That is the easiest way that you can do. And here the most important ones I already told you, apart from that, uh, you have uh, interstellar obstructions. Obstructions in specific carry a lot of weightage. It is a small topic, but yet a question definitely comes from that. And then uh, you have, see, when you keep on reading liver, gallbladder, spleen, pancreas, everything you read, you find everything important. So make sure you read what is actually there in it. And then carcinoma is a definite at least one question from carcinoma is mandatory. So make sure that you are thorough with carcinomas. Just do not leave it. And then all the signs and x-ray features, CT features and what are the different surgical procedures. I made a gist of all of them. You know, whenever I used to read stomach or something and then I used to make all of the findings, you know, just two to three lines. That is it. And I kept on revising, revising, revising again and again so that I would just memorize, you know. More than reading about the matter regarding that, I read most about the investigations and then the findings that helped me a lot to score uh, most of my marks because uh, and then whatever I used to do I used to represent in the form of a diagram so make sure you represent in the form of a diagram or a flow chart you know some creative ways of expressing the way you know that is it okay and then uh, you have thorax and all of the shit it's just uh, minor you know in case you're aiming for a gold medal you can go through it or else if you have to cross all of this just go through the important ones that especially kidney you have a lot lot of cancers and uh, like uh, kidney stones uh cholelithiasis very very important and then uh, cholidopo seal is important gallbladder is one very important topic here and then splenic injuries because uh, usually trauma cases splenic injury is very common so splenic injuries you have to read and then uh, Pancreas, I don't know carcinoma pancreas, I've read a lot, be hoping I would get pancreas, but then I didn't get a pancreas. But uh, never be disheartened, who knows, who knows, anything might happen because it is surgery paper too. And uh, that is how you have to read. Uh, I hope I have clarified all of your doubts. If you have anything, just let me know in the comment section below. You can just ask me, feel free to contact me. My email ID will be there in the link below. And uh, that is all for today's video.